Hunter x Hunter episode 34. The end of this, this guy's career. I believe it. Power X to X Avenge. Of course. True of any high position. What are you actually gonna show up? Wow. Bold of him. Bold of him. I also felt a knife on my head. Everyone finds out eventually. Damn, you put fear in their hearts. Up to you. Up one is it really worth the hotel upgrade though? I think the time for threats is, is over. <laughs> He's just in the room, this kid. Oh my god. Wow. This is everywhere. And now he's on the windowsill. It's like an Old Spice commercial. But like, terrifying. Especially when you're taking a dump. Wow, you just lost the game that you made. Credit to you for still wanting to fight after that. It does make sense that the higher up you go, the greater the rewards and therefore the greater incentives to all those who, who want the rewards so badly that they would be willing to dispense with other things like rules, ethics. So not only does it attract dirtier personalities the higher you go, it also selects for people who are the best at operating in a dirty way because there's an evolutionary process to it. You figure in all these things, you know, this tournament, the hunter exam, you're gonna find a lot of darkness and sleaze. Gon may be a little bit disappointed by this, though. They are growing, I'm convinced. I expect victories from you both. They gotta be pumped up after all this training. Did he replace his fishing rod with a, a Nen fishing rod? My Nen isn't good enough to see it. I feel like it might be a decoy, a real fishing rod to hide a Nen fishing rod. He's so much more powerful than he was before, obviously. Here come the tops, yeah? We were starting to develop a strategy for this, minimizing aura. Oh, instead he put up a defense. It already looks so different. Gon will never be the same in any two months. <laughs> Emotional damage, the real strategy. <laughs> no, no, no. So he wants you to think, take out the base maybe. Is he flipping the whole foundation? Wow. Power. Dead. Dead. He's just dead. Smushed. <laughs> A little simple punch ought to do it. Punch him right in the face. This is for Zushi. That was merciful, I suppose. That was absolute domination. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he will. Absolute domination. Floor master in the making. This so okay. <laughs> he is something. Paying attention. This is going to be a fun episode. This is going to be a victory lap. These guys are just stepping stones. Clue has seen the darkness. 
he can go there. It's part of his power. To be able to turn that on and off is so cool. Just to know that's there. It's a fun thing to play with. Like Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen, it, it gives more credibility when they actually choose things that are that are solid, that are higher reaching. No, get your Tonka truck ass out of here. And they both, like, they both love each other, obviously. I can feel their love from the stands, always. He's just doing this to show off. He's fleeing. Oh, he's got whips. <laughs> the random, random generated villains continue. And, you know, it's a car, but we have snake whips too. Because why not? Kalua has projectiles too, right? Wow, he's just disappointed. You bore me. Wow. The hand speed. Embarrassing. Everyone finds out eventually. Okay. I think this is bad? My mom tortures better than this. That sounds very high. Bye. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, exactly. Mom is the best torturer of me. Yeah, get your twisted metal ass out of here. No. <laughs> Catch him with the whips. Go and learn electricity training right after the laxative training. I mean, Kalua. Good. Get your Charles Xavier ass out of here. <laughs> With his own skill, there was never any doubt. Stepping stone's gonna be stepping stones. In the end, they served as padding for Gon and Kalua's records. I feel like Kalua could have beaten him without the Nen training, but... Yeah, they both project themselves spiritually into the other. This is the real threat. This is the real danger. This is where the stakes are. It's not these non-Hisoka clowns. Honestly, I'm, I'll be a little bit surprised if Gon's opponent shows up. These kids just are the retirers of fools. Oh, he's still there. Props to him. Gon's just a career spoiler. And Gon's already seen what he can do. Yeah, we've seen this before. Gon looking very calm. He did this last time too. Gon just likes using the platforms. Wow. Orbers, where? Okay. That was a fast 180. Yep, one thing the last couple episodes have revealed. Hisoka is a powerful Nen user, but actually it feels like the, the hidden talent he has is strategy, his IQ. He won that chess game against uh, Kraus, basically from the opening move. <laughs> Again. Do it. Press it. You know you want to. No, he didn't. That was nice of him. He could have, though. The fact that they're allowed to use weapons at all is crazy. Damn, I want to be on a parallel journey with someone like Odin Kalua. This is upsetting. It's upsetting that, you know, we hate Hisoka so much, but he's like rooting for us in a sense. Like robs you of your fangs. He has become ripe. Very disturbing for Gon. Yeah.
Hisoka's energy is just so large, so big. Even in the emotional matchup, the stare down, Gon has no leverage. And it's not phony. Like, Hisoka is that strong. And Hisoka actually, in a weird way, is rooting for Gon. Gon can't threaten or intimidate him. Gon is the one threatened and intimidated on some level, even if it's being masked by anticipation and excitement and rage. Some people who are just so far ahead of you will never give you an inch emotionally in that way. Part of it is by not meeting your energy. They're detached from it. They're their own source of it. It doesn't mix with yours. And it gives you this feeling that they're untouchable, that they're so far above you. You're not even a threat to them. I've been on both sides of this in minor confrontations. There have been times, especially when I was younger, when people really got under my skin and I kind of like wanted to provoke something, right? Yet I was solidly defeated because people just were not pressed at all about it. They wouldn't even match any emotion. So I'm just left standing there feeling stupid. I'm getting all worked up by myself, having this whole meltdown by myself. And there have been times where people have tried to provoke me. And if they're... I'll say low enough, or I guess more concretely, I feel like I can just see it and it's just sad. It's not really anything worthy of my attention. Like their insecurities or fears or shortcomings are just screaming at me. It turns into scorn and pity. And like, I don't even want to touch it because it'll corrupt me. They can fight their own little inner battle. It, it sort of has to be genuine. Like you can't really fake it. It really has to be where you are and you know it when you feel it. Like Hisoka with Gon is convincing because it's Hisoka. We know who he is, what he's capable of. He's actually looking forward to it. He's not hurt. He's thrilled. It's fun. It's pleasant for him. Gon has a lot of emotion mixed in. I feel like maybe the satisfying result or challenge for him in this arc, his oak arc, would be the ability to move past that or focus despite it, really be crystal clear on, on the higher goal, which is his own growth and development, spiritually and power-wise, because obviously Nen has both both elements, but it'll take a lot. It's a lot to ask at this point. Tell me it's not wheelchair man this time. Oh, okay. That's a pleasant surprise. More than one? What is she, Nurse Joy? Okay. And she looks so much better now that she lost that hat. 